For acusports.com, I'm Grant Boone. As we talk some Wildcat football with junior running back Billy Ray McCrary, and we've got Adam Dorrell, and we're going to start with Billy here. After the game against Baylor on Saturday night, uh, the final score wasn't what you wanted, but Billy, when you look back at the entire experience of the game and some of the things you accomplished on offense as a unit, what did you take away? I mean, overall, like you said, we would have loved to get the win. I mean, that was our number one goal coming in. But there was a lot of stuff to build on. There's a lot of good um, things that we saw, and there's some things that we saw that were wrong that we can fix and I think better ourselves next game. You were one of the few for the Wildcats who have played huge games in big arenas, having transferred from the University of California. You actually played at Darrell K. Royal Stadium against Texas when you played for Cal. Uh, did you sense maybe some of the other players looking at you as someone who has played in a big arena like McLean Stadium? Uh, I mean, not really, but because they were just all uh, taking it in. It was a great opportunity. that They were all kind of just looking around at the stadium. Like, I mean, they were thankful to be there and thankful for their opportunity to be able to play in that level. Let's talk about your game specifically. Six carries, 141 yards. Uh, some of those big runs happened while the national Fox audience switched over during the <laughs> Nebraska uh, weather delay. Uh, was Did the game go uh, in terms of what you were able to accomplish, how you thought? Did you think there were the opportunity for some, for some uh, big plays? I mean, we talked about in film study with Coach Wallace that there was going to be some cuts there, and those were some of the ones that I did make. So I feel like a lot of the preparation helped make some of those plays happen. So that was, amazing. That was nice. You've never played at Wildcat Stadium, so this is going to be uh, not just the home opener for the 2018 season, but your first game at Wildcat Stadium. What are you looking forward to as we have a little less capacity at McLean Stadium or out there at Cal, but still what should be a festive environment? From what I've heard, I mean, I think, think it's a sellout game right now. And I've, what I've heard also from people on the team is just our fans are amazing. They're going to be loud. So, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to it. Let me ask you quickly. Uh, it had to have been a thrill for a guy who played at Leander Rouse about 80 miles down the road from McLean Stadium and whose family now lives in Temple. That had to be fun to play in front of your home folks. How many did you have there? Uh, too many to count, too many to count. <laughs> I mean, my brother goes to Baylor too, so he, he was already there, had him in some ACU gear, so that was nice. <laughs> so, Great, all right, let's talk to your head coach. Uh, you, um, you told us about Billy and what you had seen from him in spring ball and what uh, you expected from him. He delivered, didn't he? Yeah, he did, uh, just really proud of him. I thought he, uh, First thing he's done, he's, he's been very unselfish since he got here. And in, in my years of head coaching, anytime you get a drop down guy, it, you always worry about how they're going to react when they come down. Billy's been a great teammate. He's been impeccable uh, off the field. Um, he's close to being a 4-0 student. Uh, just takes care of his business and is a great teammate. And so what he did Saturday uh, didn't surprise us. Uh, we feel like he's got a really good skill set and just felt like he's been really patient through camp. He's learned the offense. But uh, very proud of him. Uh, the thing that I thought he did really well is he made the runs. But I mean, if you look at one of his long runs, he's got great ball security. He stiff arms the kid in the face mask. You know, just those things look so little, but but they're not. If he would have had the ball in the wrong hand, he wouldn't have been able to stiff arm the guy. You know, what was a 75-yard touchdown run probably only would have been a 20-yard touch or 20-yard run. And so uh, his attention to detail right now is really good, and, he, and we're going to continue to find ways to get him on the field and and uh, get the ball to him and you know we feel like right now between him and Tracy you, you throw that freshman in there that we have that uh, we've got a, three pretty good tailbacks. It was not the first game as a Wildcat for DJ Fuller but it was the first time he played a game for you yeah. and uh, you had heard stories you had seen film of what he had done back in 2016 in one half he goes for uh, over 100 yards we hope he's okay I don't know what you can tell us about DJ but but what he did on the field looked like a guy who was ready to get back out there after a year away yeah he did I, you know the thing for, for for us for DJ DJ's hyper competitive guy <laughs> uh, he's not scared no. of anybody and he he, he believes in his skill set uh, he's not cocky but he's very very confident and that's what I love about him uh, again doesn't surprise me that he did the things he did just because of his demeanor and the way he practiced and you know we gave him some chances thought he came up really big and, and very proud of him anything you can tell us about his condition yeah we expect him to play okay. saturday okay. he'll be okay well uh it, it should be pointed out when when some players have academic issues not all of them come back right. uh, and he did work hard i know to get back didn't absolutely he? he did you know that was one of the things that you know when we came into this football program I, you know right wrong or indifferent and i know it don't didn't always work out with some of the players. We tried to give everybody a clean slate and mm -hmm. let them start over, but we were very uh, firm in our convictions on how things were going to be done now, you know, uh, in the classroom, off the field, and on the field. And so 
We've never had an issue with DJ yeah. since he's been here. Right. He's done everything we've asked him to do. Yeah. Uh, he's been a good teammate. Uh, he's a guy that we've challenged him on his leadership to try to get better at that. Mm. And it is coming along. You know, it's something that, uh, you know, maybe he's not always comfortable with. But I'm proud of him because, again, he's trying to do things that he's not necessarily comfortable with. And to me, that's the sign of, you know, growth mindset. And that's what we want our players to have. Speaking of growth, you've had three starts with Luke Anthony as your starting quarterback. Uh, you have um, – You've averaged 450 yards. You go for 466 on Saturday night, the most that you've had since becoming head coach. Um, there seems to be a pretty good relationship with Luke and your offensive coordinator, Josh Lamberson, yeah. and in general, uh, just the handling of the offense. I know it's not all Luke, yeah. but there, there's some good things going on, yeah. aren't there? Yeah, well, it starts with Josh. Josh does a great job of, of coaching our coaches, our offensive coaches. Those guys get along really, really well together. Uh, I think our uh, coaching staff, all of our coaching staff, the offensive coaches included, do a really good job of under, understanding guys' skill sets. And we ask them to do things they can do, not things they can't do. And so uh, if we got to taper the system that week to fit a kid's needs or what we're seeing on defense, that's what we're going to do. So it starts with that. Josh does a phenomenal job mm -hmm. with that, of getting guys in the right place. And then, you know, in, in our offense, the smash and dash, I mean, we sit down and we outline for guys, you know, nobody's going to touch the ball 20 times a game. They're not, it's not going to happen. And so, you know, guys have to buy in that. They have to be unselfish. But when you spread the football around like we do, and it, it, it's a force multiplier, defenses can't key on people. And, but for me, the thing I was proud of is, you know, we got under center, played some old school football Saturday. We lined up with a couple tight ends, full backs, and we were knocking people around. And, you know, that's how I want to play football. I think if you want to win a championship, in my experience as a coach, you got to be able to run the football and you got to be able to play great on defense. And we really feel like our program's trending in that direction. Spoken like a former offensive lineman. All right, let's talk about the game on Saturday night. You don't personally have a history with Angelo State, yeah. but you sure do with their head coach, Will Wagner. Yeah. Uh, you were uh, fellow assistant yeah. coaches under Mel Churchman at Northwest Missouri State. Uh, what can you tell ACU fans who really don't know Angelo under Will Wagner? What can you tell them about him and what we can expect Saturday night? Well, it's not it's not just Will. There's a handful of other coaches there that are old guy, Northwest guys that I know. Uh, first and foremost, he, he's a great human being. He's a great father. He's a good football coach. Uh, he instills a lot of discipline, work ethic, and character into his football program. Um, you know, and I think those are things he and I really have in common because that's what we've learned growing up. You know, Coach uh, Will played for Coach Keeling here at Harden Simmons, was a great player. He has a lot of history with Abilene. So uh, he, he's a good man, a uh, good coach, and I, I've tried to get that across to our, our players. I mean, those guys are going to come in here ready to play. It's not um, unlike what you did going exactly, to Baylor last that's week, exactly right? Exactly it. I mean, we've had that game circled on our schedule. Uh, I'm sure Angelo has on their schedule, you know, and for us, I mean, I. It's like I said to some of the other, I don't, that for right now where our program's at, I don't care who we're playing. We, we got to try to get better each and every week. Uh, we got to control the things we can control. We got to minimize our turnovers, get turnovers. We got to be good on special teams. But I mean, bottom line, man, we're playing at home for the first time this year. I don't care how it happens. We got to find a way to try to get a win. All right, it is six o'clock on Saturday night. The home opener race you against their old friends from San Angelo. 51st meeting between these two old rivals from the Lone Star Conference. For Billy McCrary and Coach Adam Dorle, I'm Grant Boone.